What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're gonna cut up some Kitty Mitchell Grouper. How did it get its name, Kitty Mitchell Grouper? I have no clue, but I'm a fishmonger, so I've got a little bit of a pervert in mind, and you can fill in the gaps yourself. All right, check out the eyes popping out on this guy. He came out of 800 feet of water, about 160 miles offshore. The eyes popping out, are from coming out of deep water. When they're reeling up these fish, coming out of 800 feet of water, pressure changes. And that process is called barotrauma. Let's get it. We're gonna puncture that, come all the way down, flip our knife around, cut behind the head hard. Tip of the knife right at that opening. All right, let's slide all the way down. Beautiful. We can even go a little further, wipe the scales off. Rest our knife right on top of the skeleton and pull towards the head. And while I'm getting in there, I'm trying not to pull on the meat too much. I don't want to create any tearing on that meat. Tip of the knife, go to the top of that spine. All right, now that we're at the center, typically you can go like this and separate that head meat. This one, not as easy, there's a bone right there. You can't see it, but it's actually stabbing my finger right now. It's usually not there on other fish. So we just gotta go like that and release that meat. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up. Beautiful. What we just did is separate the connection of pin bones made to the ribs. Now we can lift on the filet higher, get a harder angle. Now we wanna expose the ribs. So that way we can cut as close to them as possible. So that way we can get that belly meat. And this one's not fully cooperating. Those rib bones go really high on these Katie Mitchell grouper. Oh, look at that. The skin is showing because the rib bones went all the way up. I mean, look at this. Like the bones completely exposed there. There's no meat there. You can hear it tapping, but you know, it is what it is. When you can't get it, beautifully attached to the filet, it's no big deal, because we're gonna turn the belly meat into a separate portion anyways. Flip her over. Oh, looks like they gaffed them. Maybe it wasn't hooked very well and they wanted to make sure that they didn't lose this beautiful fish that's got a high market value. Gonna hit behind the head at a hard angle. Slide all the way down. Have that whole thing separated. Oh, roll them over. Tip of the knife, right at that opening, we're gonna slide on down. Beautiful, wipe off those scales so that flick didn't knock them all off on its own. Now we're gonna rest our knife right on top of that skeleton and slide down. Take your time with it, you guys. If you're not, you know, if you're not a fishmonger or a fish cutter, take your time with it. This fish is a, very valuable fish. And if you caught your own, you probably spent a lot of money on time, gas, energy, opportunity costs. You wanna make sure that you get all your value out of this fish. All right, we've got this odd bone there. Release it, and there we go. Beautiful. We're gonna see if we can get a hold of the edge of the skin here. Usually pretty easy to do. That way you've got a nice handle on the second side when you need to lift up a little higher on it. And we're gonna dip our knife on that second side, not lose any of that meat. It's a lot easier to fillet without leaving the belly on. We're gonna portion it out separately anyway, so you can leave it on there, go right in front of that last rib bone, cut it right off, and there's your beautiful belly portion. Let's get this out of the way. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, I do enjoy the meat underneath the ribs of these grouper. So you'd have to take that little bit of skin off, take our knife and slide them underneath these rib bones. Super easy to do. Just put your knife right underneath, cut away from yourself, and there it is. That's the meat that's underneath the rib cage of a grouper. You couldn't get that off in a filet if you tried. We'll go ahead and shave that membrane. That is a delicious morsel. I know guys, it's a lot of work for a small bite, but have you ever eaten it? Because I have, it's delicious. 
right underneath this pectoral fin is a bone that you can slide your knife right underneath like that and then slide it underneath that fin. Put your knife right underneath the pelvic fin, right up and poof, look at the size of that boneless collar on that Kitty Mitchell grouper. Roll them over, repeat the process. We're gonna slide our knife right underneath it. Use that fin as a handle if you need, like I'm doing now. Grab it. Woo! Look at that, guys. Collar meat on these groupers is cream of the crop stuff. Deep water groupers, hard to beat. Katie Mitchell grouper is no exception. Let's take those cheeks out, y'all. You can kind of see an outline where the cheek is, but if you're not sure, you can hear that tap. No tap, find the line. Slip your knife right underneath that line. Once you get to the lip, give it a little flick like that. And we're working the tip. Don't wanna make any large incisions because you gotta scoop underneath. Make one nice long incision. All right, y'all, my favorite part. I don't know why I love that noise so much. I'm a millennial and I thought ASMR was the Gen Z thing. Maybe it's a millennial thing too, but I like that noise. But look at this, you guys. Hear that noise? That's bone. No meat left behind in that cheek. Roll them over. Tip of the knife right at that opening and we're gonna slide on down. Go underneath the lip like that. This lift is helping make sure that you can get this nice long line not lose out on any of that meat. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. And there's thick membrane right there on those bigger ones, so we'll use our knife to separate it. And there's our Katie Mitchell grouper cheeks. Now we're not done playing yet. Got this lip right here. We're going to slide our knife under there. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. This whole thing separates like that and shaving that off. Okay, beautiful. And that right there is Katie Mitchell grouper jaw meat. We wanna shave off this membrane. You can usually pull on it a little bit and get a good starting point. This one is sticking, so we'll use our knife. Now, we've got seemingly everything off of our grouper. The only thing that could possibly be left is scraping the meat between the vertebrae. Take a spoon in between each of those bones and you can scrape off a decent amount of meat. So we're not gonna throw away this head. We're gonna save it. We're gonna get that done to it later. We got a lot to do, a lot of ingredients to buy, a lot of fish to cook. So we're gonna get going on that now. Hope you guys have a killer day. Look forward to seeing you later.